Well, as we continue to dive headfirst into the digital age, uh, many of us are, have a, a growing concern over the, the safety and security of our personal information. Recent breaches of databases uh, belonging to uh, everything from, uh, oh, big stores, government agencies can be uh, quite alarming. But joining us now with a few uh, tips how to keep your ID a little more secure is the CEO of Digital Safe, Alan Giai. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for coming in today. So yeah, we've, we've been hearing about these uh, security breaches for the longest time now. Uh, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. How much of a concern is this to the, the common person? It's a very big concern because we all use electronic devices. We all store uh, data. We use passwords to go to the net for anything from going to our gym membership portal all the way to e-banking. So it is important to protect that. Everybody's concerned. Okay, so some of these included Target. There was this, this big breach with Target. Uh, Russian hackers stealing a billion uh, password and username combinations. Technically, how does this happen? How do they get away with this? Well, what happened is uh, they enter our, our breach of security. So it starts at, the, at a big level. It starts with the Wi-Fi networks that are unsecure and it goes into hacking into computer databases. And those Russian uh, hackers that hacked 1.2 billion passwords already are using some of those passwords, we feel, because there's been other breaches, um, sort of like a side effect of that that's starting to happen. So what, what tools are they using that, that allows them to be able to pull off these heists, as it were? So for example, what they do is they, they use sophisticated tools to breach into unprotected Wi-Fi network. So if you're in a public space and you will use your phone and log into your e-banking on a free Wi-Fi, they have a way to breach that network with sophisticated equipment and really get into all your, uh, all your passwords as you log in. That's, that's one very sophisticated way to do it. Another thing is they would breach into data centers. Uh, that happens in Canada and the U.S. a lot. And then in the data centers, uh, there's a lot of data from people like you, maybe your, your uh, phone supply, your internet service provider would have those stored in a data center. And then at a very micro level, uh, somebody next to you could be looking at your phone as you log in sure, or your laptop. Sure. Well, what this has done is made people a, a little uh, frightened of, of doing, for instance, online banking. Yes. Uh, do they need to be concerned about that? I mean, I mean how secure is online banking? Well, it is secure. I don't want to say it's unsecure, but I would highly recommend always to, again, use a, a highly secure network when you're logging into your banking. I would recommend at home. And if you use a Wi-Fi, to have it protected by passwords. And if you log into your e-banking, you always want to make sure that the website itself is uh, protected by what we call HTTPS. Usually it has a little lock on the symbol on the URL there. You want to make sure that they use an encrypted connection to uh, protect their site. And you can always ask your bank how they do that. One thing they're always telling us to do is change your password, change your password. Is there an easier way than that? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, it's, it's just <laughs> there's, there's so many passwords that people are forgetting their passwords and they're putting them in the wrong spots. And exactly. I have 206 passwords. What? So I, I do. I can show it to you on my phone. So what I do is I use passwords for everything from my hotel uh, uh, mileage and airline mileage all the way to my banking. Any website I go to, whether it's social media or services. So what I recommend people do is use a password manager. Um, what a password manager does, it lets you either create complex passwords, store them, and manage them. So it's basically a manager for all these passwords. A password needs to be complex, so you cannot use the same password for uh, everything you sure, have. Sure. Do you need a password to get into the password manager? You do. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you manage that? But, uh, I, that's, that's only one password to remember which I would not recommend anyone to give to. So sure. a lot of people, they, they store passwords on, in their computer. I've heard in the computer, on a piece of paper, on an Excel sheet sometime. That's if you're really sophisticated about it or on your phone. Well, if you store passwords on a device and that device is lost or hacked, because people now hack phones as well, then you have your entire life uh, that you're giving away to these Russians, for example. So our, our company, actually, what we do is we provide, among other things, a password manager. And how I go about it is I log into my digital safe, 
I look at my passwords. If I want to create a new password, I click a button, it'll generate a very complex password and I put the URL of the, of the website and, and that's it and you can forget about it. But you do need to remember that one password. Okay, that's and I really too difficult. No, if you have uh, six, uh, six letters or six characters, at least one uppercase, one lowercase, one digit, and if you have a punctuation, like an exclamation point, that'd be fantastic. Right. That's already complex enough. Thank you, sir. Valuable information today. For more information on your uh, ID, your security, you can uh, uh, keep, keep yourself safe online. Then we have a website that uh, you can go to. It's pretty simple, digitalsafe.ca. Stay with us. We're back after the break.